Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome to another Sunday morning here. Um, hobby collab, hobby stream with myself, Zach, and of course my lovely wife Megan here classic streaming. Classic matchup. Classic matchup, as she likes to say. Um, uh, we are painting, we're, we're, listen, we now stream games here in the channel. And as a result, lots of times we need to take a look at an army that we have and we say, oh, we want to add some stuff to it. Yeah. Like and horsies. In this case, it's horsies. Today. It's the Free Guild Cavaliers. I think we'll talk about this unit throughout throughout the stream. I think this is maybe the coolest, possibly best unit in the in Cities of Sigmar. And oh, okay. and and there's an article on Warhammer Community from the French guy, I forget his name, who just won uh Worlds. And he was like, Hey, people are sleeping on the Cavaliers. In Cities of Sigma, oh. and I've been saying that too. So I said it before he said it. You said it know. before it was cool. I said it before it was cool. Yeah, yeah. And right. um, he, 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 <laughs> anyway, he um, uh, and actually, I see Cody is in Hi, Cody. chat. Cody, I think, can back me on that. That I said it. I said it, right, Cody? Okay. Anyway, thanks, um, Cody. Yeah, thanks, Cody. I'm 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 using you to um, to. Uh, <laughs> Cody's going to be in court one day soon, yeah. testifying for me. Anyway, um, he said it in French. Cool. Yeah, Barry. Um, anyway, they're super cool. And the fun thing about Cities of Sigmar is that I painted this army up and I played it a few games on stream even. And I learned that I hate it. Oh, you don't I, like I, Cities of Sigmar. I don't like the play style. It's not <laughs> a Zach annoying. play style. Not a Zach play style. Because you spend a long time painting these. But that's okay. Because yeah. I that's not the first time that's happened. That yeah. happened with Slaves of Darkness as well. And I'm starting to learn a lot about myself as an individual. And what's really cool is that I've been a, I've accidentally painted armies, right? In, in the case of Slaves of Darkness, Saray likes it. Yeah. In the case of Cities... It's a Brett play style. Yeah, he'll like it. He's going to love it. It's a nice little gift. It's a nice little... I mean, yeah, yeah I'm not giving him the army. Um, um, I mean, more or less, he can do whatever he wants with he, it. But. It's his, but he has to keep it here. Yeah. No, he, he, can, he can take <laughs> it. I, it's, it's Brett. I trust him. Anyway... Um, We're focusing on... So we have horses. Cavaliers Let's today. actually show here, Meg. Show your horses. I'm going oh, sure. to do this. Um, okay. This is the yeah. horse. <laughs> These are the horses. <laughs> um, I actually had some slides to pull up. To show you what my inspiration is for the horses. Oh, sure. Let's show you. Um, because I've actually known a few horses in my life. Yeah, let's um, actually what jump. What girl, like, oh, I'll figure this out, right? There we go. I Every girl uh, likes horses, right? Isn't that like a thing? Girls seem to like horses. Girls seem to like horses. But also guys like horses. Sure. You, you know you what? You know, everyone should like horses. You know, horses are pretty cool. They're not my favorite um, animal, no. human animal. Sure, friend. that's I fair. I think they're third. They rank third they're for me. Third? Yeah, it goes. I'm surprised they're that high up on your list at all, really. Uh, he, but You've they, never ridden a horse. Yeah, but they're really important. Okay, let's talk about. We're going to come back to this one. This should have been the poll. <laughs> Although <laughs> our the best animal, best animal friend. <laughs> you can't have dog. Our, 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 people dog will win. our people would have picked dog. Dog yeah. always wins. Okay, yeah. talk to me about what we're looking at here. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to paint <clears throat> horses that uh, looked like horses I actually knew in my life. Like horses that were special to me, mm -hmm. um, I oh, I had to go through picture like actual photos, which was fun. Yeah, like they're, I don't. They're, you hold them up. I, I have real pictures, guys. Like, yeah, I mean, we all have a few of those tucked away, right? Um, but anyway, so these are these are just some horses that I've known throughout my childhood. I used to ride horses. Is that Washington? Is that so, SoCal? No, this is actually Southern California. That looks like SoCal. My, That's so, El Monte, huh? Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Um, that's actually my mom on my my grandmother's horse Gyra. My grandma my grandma and aunt had horses. In the front. And, in the front, yeah. The other horse, um, I don't know that horse. It's just also there. But my mom rode this horse Gyra in the in, in a parade. And this is a bay colored horse. Um, bay is like that typical like brown fur. Bay is the traditional and black. I, last night tail. I said I said to You're you like, I want a traditional horse. I said I'm this like, is that's bay. This is the traditional this is the ultramarine of horses. I know something. Would you say this is the ultramarine of horses? I think so. Yeah. I, this is like what you think of the colors you think of boy. when you think of a horse. The poster boy of or horses. Or like maybe you think of the black stallion <laughs> no, or something. No. But that's like, special. That's, that's a, a weird special thing. horse. That's yeah. the ultramarine of horses right there. Yeah, I love so it. So that's my mom. Wait, in the horse in the background real quick. Is that Palomino? It looks like Palomino, like a form of Palomino. Can we make the Palomino's Palomino joke from Bob's? Go Burgers ahead, do team? it. That's you just, it. That's I think you just joke. did it. That's a yeah. Joke. Okay. Yeah. I should wear my Bob's. This Burgers is uh, my little, my middle sister. This yeah. is how many years ago? Like this is when I was in junior high. 
Yeah. Anyways, the horse she's on, I actually totally forget. It's chestnut. It's a chestnut Another horse. traditional horse. Yeah. Bay and color. she's got a little star on her forehead, yeah. so I'll put that in. This is Casey. Um, this was my great aunt's horse. And in the back there is a Palomino. I think that is actually Fancy Pants, um, my, an, my aunt and uncle's other horse. Another Palomino? A Palomino, yeah. Right. And she has a big blaze on her face. So I'm going to work that into the horse where I, I, where I can, if I can. Might have models armor. are kind of... They're armored up. Imagine, they're armored up. Imagine your childhood horses armored up for war yeah. and throwing them into the likes of yeah. Beast Claw Raiders who will... Probably kill them and eat them, Megan. You should have thought about this. It's too bad. I'm not playing them, so it's yeah, fine. Brad, I don't have to worry about Brad. it. Again, and I don't care about fictional people and animals getting murdered, so we're good. Um, this is like my horse. Uh, it's actually my grandmother's horse, but I rode her all the time every summer. Um, and her baby, Shammy. So it's Honey uh, and Shammy. And Shammy's this little... He's oh, a little yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. he's super cute. He's ba They're both... Um, well... <sighs> I forget how it works. It's it's either buckskin or dun colored. This buckskin is like this really pale like. Wait, well we have a a paint right here called buckskin. It's the wrong. I know it. That's not right. It's though. not the right. It's not her color, right? Yeah. Like. Um, That's very orange. But where it's very That's pale, quite orange. pale yeah. horse with like dark. I want to say seal points, right? Like the main tail, the mm -hmm. the bottom half of the legs, the muzzle, like. Um, so so she and her foal were both, dun, buckskin. Um, mm -hmm. He's a little darker than her. Okay, very and nice. This I'm is, yeah. throwing this one in uh, just because I think fam will like it. But this is me. <laughs> That's me and Honey. That's when I was in junior high. Look at what a fucking. Oh. Look what a nerd! Look what a nerd I am. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> no, it's anyway, okay. so Saray <laughs> after Saray yesterday is rubbing off on me. After yesterday, what happened to Saray <laughs> and the amount of profanity he dropped? He he. It he, was a lot. He was a saint for not dropping more. Let's just say that. He's um, like, have you ever played this army again? Saray, have you played against Beast Glory? He's like, I don't think so. I think I just watched Brett wreck you with them. I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Poor dude. Anyway, hey, those are great pictures and. Um, so there are ten free guild cavaliers. Yeah, we're focusing on five today. We're working I think on five. I showed you five horses. We're, yeah, we're working yeah. on five today. We, um, this is one of the things I love about this unit. Everybody makes fun of me because I do this thing where I try to make everybody very unified. You do. Well, the free guild cavaliers in their lore are not like that. Um, they are a little bit different. What happens in their lore is kind of how medieval knights in Europe worked. They're like, hey, um, we need to go fight, and so. You know, they go to the countryside, and these are, like, all the Frigio Cavaliers are presumed to be sort of, like, noble from nobility. Whereas most of Free Guild it yeah. is, um, you sign up. And in most cases, um, downtrodden people sign up because you get the Order Malleus, which is, like, a coin oh. that they give it to you. And basically what happens is you, you know, that's, like, a Steel Helm or a Fusilier. Then you go and you help conquer the mortal realms. It's Manifest Destiny, mm -hmm. frankly. And then you're given basically a plot of land. That's literally what they're doing is taking their land back and getting, you know, taking their land back from psychos like Flesh Eater Courts and, oh, yeah. and Chaos War they're Bands. They're just misunderstood. And then they're getting and they their land back. they just misunderstand the world around them. And the, or the coin is basically a promise to say you're going to get a plot of land if you live. <laughs> or your family will get a plot of land. Oh, honestly. that's very like early America. It is exactly early <laughs> Go America. Go exploring. <laughs> if you survive it, you can keep whatever you find. By contrast, these models that we're painting today, these are already noble landowners. They look like it. And they're, they are they come with their own stuff. They come with their own good weapons. That's why they hit on three. They wound on three. They're trained. Um, but they're all different. And they, and they give you a decal sheet that has all the different hered uh, her heraldry. heraldry on it, which is very cool. Yeah. So they're designed to be um, a cohesive fighting unit. They're all soldiers. They know how to come together and fight, yeah. but they don't normally soldier together or barrack together. I don't know what the word would be. Okay. Maybe somebody in the military, Saray, would know. Yeah, like, Saray, tell us. So it's it's a they're almost kind of like mercenaries who come together to help fight for the cities of Seton mm -hmm. Um Okay. So we get to paint all the horses different. We get to paint yeah. all the armor different. Yeah. We get to paint everything Blankets. different. But at the same time, um, there's so much cool building. Like, you know, so many things are unified. They've done such a good job, in my opinion, on the kit that, like, it's going to be a cohesive look. Yeah. The basing's the same. Well, you can see <clears> that um, everybody here <laughs> in this model, 
Uh, you can see that like everybody got their free collector's edition Sig Sigmar. Not everybody, but there. <laughs> like yeah, the, I mean, a, all the Cavaliers love, got this like uh, Sigmar special edition no, blanket. No, they have different ones. That, that is the special edition. Okay, one. you're right. Only <laughs> oh, she... you're right. You're right. Okay. I was like, oh, they must all. Here's one. These two got sent the special edition cloak. Yeah. I don't know why the rest didn't. It's sad. Okay, who are you? Which one are you working? <laughs> excuse me. Which one are you working? I'm gonna right do now? the standard horse first, right? The, the traditional the horse. Bay, and the so bay. then here's my top half, and I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Actually, exactly I might not get to one. the skin today. Um, this fine. is one of the ones without a helmet. Mostly I did helmets, but... That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to finish today, guys. I never yeah, finish. Yeah, no freaking way are we finishing 10... This, this girl we have never five finishes. set up. This, this unit is going to be a slog. Plus, not even pictured here today, is the Figo Cavalier yeah. Marshall, who I did, I did uh, assemble, airbrush, prime, uh, base coat, everything... And he's over there. Um, yeah. And you would absolutely not take these without him. He is. He is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's critical. He's his own project. He's his own project. Right. And he's, it's a beautiful model. Um, right. So I will get to work on this. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start with, like, some two thin coats, cuirass leather. And I'm going to add, uh, like, in this picture, this horse. I, I know the pictures are, like, old, so they don't hold the color the same way. But I remember this horse. And she does, she has a little bit of red, like, in her brown. So I'm going to mix that mm. in a bit. Hey, Molecule. She's going to find some. Who says, hey, yeah. Meg, salon looks great. This was a, uh, this is an inside joke um, from last night. We'll bring which, you all in, okay? Yeah, in which uh, yeah. Meg was painting her salon, who is almost finished. And, um. Yeah, I just needed a break We couldn't hear a Molecule saying for a minute. And so we just sort of imagined he was complimenting. No, that's what he said. And I thought he was saying something else. And he's like, uh, the joke was that I wanted him to repeat it because he gave me a compliment. Right. That Sorry. was the joke. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Later on, though, it turned into whenever we couldn't hear a molecule said, we just kind of assumed he said salon looks great. Yeah. Um, the salon does look great, Meg. That's very nice of you guys. <clears throat> um, thank you. Now, I'll tell Thank you, Molecule. Also, the party lights are broken. We have, we're, we're figuring that out still. Yeah. That's gonna happen, but thank you for them anyway. They're if, there in spirit. We use this. I don't know what's up with we it. We use this, this website that. called If This Then That, and sometimes it's just broken. Yeah, sometimes things just break. Meg, I'll be honest. Sometimes with you, it your, just doesn't work. Your um, your use of this of If This Then That is very cool. Um, I'm glad we use it. But what's funny is you know we're acting like we're surprised that it's broken, but it's been broken before. You know, yeah, what it's it not used, the first time. What it used to do is one light would go and the other one wouldn't, and then that I actually hasn't been I know there's a delay. Happening. I know there's a delay. Yeah. When that happens. Sorry, guys. We're looking at the Lumix, and all I'm doing is mixing paint right now. Very um, boring. Actually, what I'm doing here today, folks at home, is uh, I am cleaning up and then adding more to the top half of the horse. Meg, by the way, I didn't do anything with the tails yet. That's we all can right. do those later. Hair is later. Okay. I'm going to grab some more colors. Yeah. And so I'm actually doing this thing that I would say I I feel like my my partner in crime on this activity is Saray. He probably he might feel different. Where I'm using a lot of the Vallejo model, Vallejo metal color paints, and I'm just doing the, um, Devin had talked about this too, I'm doing the um, non-metal metallic thing, not on a, in a super aggressive way, with true metallics. Does that make sense? So I'm going through and I'm putting a darker color in some uh, more shaded areas here on this mm -hmm, guy. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. um, to kind of create that look of like the you know I've got these different metallics but some areas are darker but I'm doing it with true metallic does okay. that make sense is that making sense oh my god I don't know you're like oh my god I haven't been listening I don't know to parts of it <laughs> <laughs> um okay so I started with uh two thin coats the cur curious cur curious brown I don't really know how it's pronounced um which is like the base code, I think. Oh wait, actually, can I, I'm I'm sorry, Megan. This is actually probably. The oh, you base did dryad code. bark. Um, I thought we were out, so, so I assumed it was. We we're kind of out. Okay. What I did, um, this so is. So it was dryad bark, and I, as the base, I poured the cure uh, the two thin coats one into this bottle. Yeah. And added some thinner and shook it up. Oh. Well, who knows what color this is then? I'm telling you what color it is. It's. I'm gonna um, dry brush. Some, uh, what's it called? Doom Bowl Brown. Uh, there it is. Wait, there, there, there. 
Yeah, so basically there's a reason, if you're wondering, why would Zach do something like that? That sounds very stupid. The reason I did that was um, I have not been able to get Dryad Bark. I have to actually go to a Games Workshop store and get it, which I should have been able to do, but I just didn't. Um, And the reason Dryad Bark is such an important color here in the studio is it it is the base... almost exact. It is the base rim studio... Excuse me. Yeah, it's the base rim uh, color and the base color of the Slaves of Darkness army we have in the studio. And so I had to I had to base the miniatures last night or two nights ago in preparation for them to die immediately on <laughs> Saturday's stream. Oh right, we were kind of stressing about that a little bit. Oh right. my god, we need to get the he's <laughs> yeah, done. Right, right. So um, as a result, I uh, had to kind of improvise. But you guys know when you like finish a pot of paint, how there's so much paint still in the pot, like on the sides of the yeah, walls like and stuff. Stuck. So basically, I just added some of the curious brown. And some a- some AK thinner and shook it really hard and then it honestly, um, the curious brown is just warmer than um, yeah. A dryad uh, bark is like totally neutral. It's kind of, is oh okay. I'm trying to think. Or like a cool brown, is such a thing. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks. It's a little cooler. Yeah. Like I laid down a cool, darker brown, and I'm I'm, highlighting it or dry brushing up, with a warm, brighter brown. Yes. Yeah. Which I think is good um, because uh, fur, skin, like anything organic like that, like it's okay to mix up your shades and like that. Like you can have cool mixed with warm because fur is very variable. Anybody with a pet knows this. Yeah. Um, speaking of pets, we have a poll up in which we, we asked, do. what is the best animal to ride if not a horse? <laughs> uh, oh. Do you have human on there? No. Oh, just checking. I do have dragon, though, which appears to be winning currently. Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> no, earlier, Meg, we had started a conversation about um, top three animal human animal friends. Mm-hmm. Right, and um, you and I both write guns, germs, and steel. I yeah, I find it's been an- a while. I find animal domestication a super interesting concept. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Um, and I'm going to say that the so the first animal to be domesticated, right. um, by most <clears throat> evidence, is a dog. Doesn't I don't know if it makes it the best, but I think a dog is a pretty good act. Might be number one. Probably. Yeah. I think everybody here would like die on that hill if if it it became yeah an argument um i'm gonna make a case number two not for horses although horses are pretty good Mm -hmm. um because horses are um uh horses are good for um travel horses are good for a lot of stuff they're also i mean you grew up in amish country right so you know Horses are good for working, like yep. chores. They're good for a lot of stuff. They're good yeah. for chores. So agriculture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So warfare. <laughs> warfare. Yeah. Um, Literally, that's horses what we're are doing. pretty good. But I'm gonna make the case that my my second favorite domestic animal, or honestly, for me, it's tied with dog is cat. Oh sure. And I would say cat is I don't good. Know what for, they do for us? Cat's good for a few good reasons. Sometimes first times they catch mice. First of all, uh, there's right. a lot of evidence that to suggest that in previous time periods. Um, plague, mixed, plague sorry, has been exacerbated. Oh. Sorry, I mixed a little bit of these, uh, the orange into the dryad bark. Oh, and together. Yeah. Up, yeah. Uh, plague has been exacerbated by removal oh, yeah. of cats or mistreatment of cats. Aww. Um, and cats. That's right. That's get, true. They got us getting rid plague. of, getting rid of rodents is a huge deal Do in not. antiquity and in, um, yeah. the middle ages, like having cats just around where you grow grain and stuff. I don't want to ride a cat, though. You don't want to ride a cat. No. Um, but then they're also very friendly. And the nice thing about cats is dogs have basically been um, okay. so programmed by humans to like us. But cats, you actually kind of have to earn the cat's like still. Like, the cat has to actually like... <clears throat> I don't want to get into this know, what's better, what, cats or dogs. I, they're just different, right? Like, different. You're, like, dogs come out the gate, they love you. That's yeah. it. You're done. You You're got done. it. You like you got to potty it. train them. Yeah. Cats come out the gate potty trained, which is pretty cool. But, but they, don't, they nec- don't necessarily love don't you. Don't necessarily love you. And you have to learn their language. Like yeah, yeah. you have to try to get to know them. Yep. Before, um, you'll know that they love you because mm-hmm. they sh- they all show it in different ways too. It's really weird. Yep. 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 
Um, anyway. I'm going to grab a paint real quick, Meg. Okay, that's fine. It is time for memes. We oh, have, yeah. like, a couple of memes that we wanted to uh, snatch up and show you that we thought were pretty funny. So let's do that. Oh, and we start with the one that I don't get, but Zach liked. <laughs> so Zach's going to talk through this one when we get back, when he gets oh, here, back. I'm back. I'm back. You're back? You're back? Okay. Explain this one to me. I don't get it. Oh, okay. So it's... So, so of course, I'm going to ruin the joke by needing it explained to th me. There's not much. I mean, it's like, it's a... It's a <clears throat> okay. Um, unless it's covering a specific thing that I'm missing... Um, both the New York Post and in the UK, you guys have the Daily Mail, I think. They're like these kind of like trash tabloid magazines. Yeah. Um, but in more recent times, they, this is from Soy Sumer, they've started the to occupy an area kind of in between like National Enquirer and like real yeah. news where they kind of try to address real news. But they're they, really crappy about But they're crappy about and they they find and grab things that are like sensational and clickbaity. And this, I think that's just sort of what this is now if it's a very specific one soy sumer i'm missing it but otherwise it's abraxia here on the amalfia coast of italy it looks like and talking about how she's has some kind of shocking lifestyle that will make a bunch of people angry like that's sure. kind of the general vibe of it i see okay. that, that's what i'm getting from it soy sumer if it's more specific <laughs> Thanks, than that let me know that's that's what i that's what i gleamed from it though. okay Hell, thanks. Um, yeah, Zach, you kind of wrecked Saray. It's been brought up in... I did. I think in chat. I did. Um, yeah, have you guys caught that game? Was it a member's... Nope, it was yesterday. It was yesterday? It was yesterday. <laughs> Everything feels so long ago. This was yesterday. Yeah, Zach um, tabled, pretty much tabled Saray in under two hours. It was, it was a, nice... a record low for our channel. It was a nice shorter stream. There That's was, true. There was it was. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. Not not what we meant to have happen. No, never. <laughs> I much prefer a longer game that is more interesting. That's what most people want. Um, yeah, and so Barry took the screenshot from our intro yesterday, which apparently was very controversial. What? Maybe a little controversial. Our intro. Our intro yesterday. Yeah. Was it? Did I don't know. Anything? Somebody, I told you, somebody tantrumed and left. Oh, somebody did leave. Somebody but did I feel like that person would have left no matter what our intro was. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't like intros. They just don't like intros. That's fine. And this was one of this our This is shorter. not the channel for them. This is one of our shorter intros, too. It's going to happen. They can't all be winners, you know? Yep. And by that, I mean the fans. Fans. All right. Fans cannot all so, be anyway, um, last week was <laughs> April Fool's, and um, Umi made this up for us. <laughs> which is <laughs> there is some lore floating around that i hate dogs but like like i want to murder dogs um if that's what you guys want like <laughs> what sure is what they want? if that's the lore you guys want for me i'm in i hate dogs you heard it here you don't hate f dogs, dogs except literally because i won't do that you don't you don't hate dogs i don't hate dogs. hate dogs i really don't hate dogs um i like dogs i just I'm not allowed to have them in my apartment. You know, what am I supposed to do? Not have a pet? I guess I could do that. Um, yeah, is that... You and I talked <laughs> about this weird thing where people feel the need to, like, be either into cats or dogs, but, like... Only favor You can't one. possibly, like, one of them. Yeah. yeah. Or oh. both of them. Yeah. Jaira has some socks on her back ankles, so I need to do that. There's, like, all these... Also, these, like, horse terms that I know I'm getting wrong, and I'm like, Ugh, it's been so long. I feel so bad. So, horse people out there, please don't tear into me. I'm checking her blanket. Yeah. Because uh, there's some clothes. I'll come back this. to this and get her socks in a minute. Um, on to honey, my buckskin. But anyways, thank you, Umi. This was great. <laughs> hey, by the way, while you have all those paints and stuff yeah. ready to go, do you want me to just pass this one so you can do the cloth part? It's or the a, head part? If you want. We could do that, and then I'll give this to you. Yeah, we can just swap. Okay. And then you can have it later. Okay. Oh, no, because I need I do need that back to do the socks, because I messed up her socks. Okay. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm... yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Christopher, for the heart. Yeah. Um, I like stickers. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hope you guys are having fun today. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Oh, today's the eclipse. Is anybody checking that out? 
Does that happen? That's like happening now, right? That's why nobody's... People have better things to do, like watch the eclipse. Um, <laughs> the last eclipse was... was It came across us, didn't it? Didn't we... No. no, it didn't come across. No, no, no. We no, did no. have one a few um, a, like, it during was COVID. We 20... had one. Twenty. Is that the last one? I think it was during COVID. Huh? Okay. Okay. We, we had one. The last one I remember, I guess I'll say, was um, twenty seventeen. Mm hmm. I think it was maybe no, no. We had one since then. Like okay. I, said, we had, I'm I can't sure remember. We had one during COVID. I honestly don't remember. Um, like I've said before. Uh, Eclipses are funny. Um, someone tells you, they're always like, oh, you won't see it for another 150 years and stuff like that. And then it happens like two days, like two years later. Two days later. Two years later. <laughs> so there's some confusion there. And then also I would just say that eclipses are solid three out of fives. I'm always let down by an eclipse. I'm always like, wow. Everyone's like, this well, would be so cool. Well, do you stare directly at it? <laughs> You're probably just missing out. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. I always feel like eclipses are less amazing than everyone makes them out to be. Um, the, the, oh, the eclipse is tomorrow, they're saying. Okay. I couldn't remember. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I guess you don't have anything better to do. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out. Um, yeah, so I guess I know I'm probably a, a, a naysayer on that. I'm not one of those people that's like, the Grand Canyon is just a giant hole in the ground. Like, the Grand Canyon's very cool, but... A giant hole in the that's ground. That's like a thing. What a terrible that's thing like to a, say. I know, that's like a it's really amazing. crappy perspective a lot of people like to have about <laughs> the Grand so cool. Canyon. I guess I'm kind of doing the crappy perspective on the eclipse. I, it's cool. Yeah. I'm just saying that um, I'm always like, oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. Because cause there's all these... Like, Look, Timbit's going to see it tomorrow, the eclipse, so that... You know, we know now it narrows us down to where he's at. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, <laughs> a swath of land that Tim Beth <laughs> might live on. Um, I feel like here, here's kind of my my thing. I feel like people act like it's like goes to total darkness. And there's like there are like. No, it goes to this weird darkness. Yeah. There's so cool. There's like this like lots of times in like writings and antiquity and stuff. People be like, oh, it was nighttime a day and like weird stuff. And I'm like, then then it happens. You're like, it's just kind of like hazy out. Yeah, 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 that's true. You get weird shadows that get cast though. That's yeah. kind of fun. Off leaves and stuff. Let's see, I need to uh, move on from this horse. Um, anyway, so I I'm just gonna brush in some of the what is it again? Doom Bull Brown. Probably wash it down a little bit since I'm not I'm not going to dry brush this part. So I don't mess up Zach's um, metallic that he's got going on. What horse are you going to work on next? Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever one you want, you can pick. N or not. Uh, okay, I guess just that one with the maroon blanket. Meg is good. Okay, yeah. so uh, this, like, yeah, that's honey, actually. That's my buckskin. Wait a second. Do Do I, I have this one? I need to stop. I'm kind of ruining this. Oh, yeah. That happens. Okay. Guys, it happens. I think this is the right one. Okay. Great. Um, let's see here. I need to... You're going to have to do some cleanup. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. There, of course. I mean, it's, there's a lot going on in these models. There is. Um, let's see. What do we have? We have fur, but like short... Short Horse fur, fur is like yeah, very, it's, it's like wet blend, kind of not dry Unless brushed. Unless you're doing Golden type. Demon stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can sit here and sketch in all the fur patterning. Um, yeah, so there's fur, there's um, metallics, like armor. You could put a sticker here, or you could choose to do freehand. There's fabric. One might want to put a There's a sword, here. you could do non-metal metallic. There's oh. hair, and there's just like a lot. We yeah. do have decals. We have a lot of decals. Are you going to do decals or are you going to do freehand? Decals for sure. Oh, okay. Just wondering. <laughs> Thanks, though. For the... It's not a bad idea, but... I mean, yeah, I get it. Yeah. We we make our choice. I don't. I usually don't do freehand. Like, um, unless it's something special, and I don't even think I've done it. I, I haven't done a whole lot. So, I'm not judging you, promise. Meg, what is a cavalier to you? <laughs> um, I'm glad you 
you're asking. A cavalier to me is an mm. attitude. Like I, I feel like when I hear that word, it's used as an adjective. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, don't be so cavalier, right? Like that sort of thing. Oh, these are. And do we even know where that comes from? Well, you know, I was like, oh, I should look that up today, and mm. then I forgot. <laughs> I didn't look it up. Oh, okay. So I don't actually know what what the term means exactly. Or but like okay, where like the adjective, let's use some the like, origin of the adjective, right? Oh. The origin of it. Yeah, like I assume <clears throat> it has to do with like the cavaliers that were helping or trying to help Charles the first win, you know, the uh, revolution they were having in the sixteen hundreds. Right. Now the question then is like so But I don't really know what like, what's the attitude? Just, like, we're righteous, right? Because well, they believed in... I mean, in, in modern usage, it's, like, Like, flipping. the divine right of king. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so a, cavalier. Yeah, it is... It's, like, a flippant meaning. So, I don't know why mm. it's flippant. Right. But, um... I mean, I did look into it a little bit. Not the definition of the word today, but just, like, what is a cavalier? Like, what are these things? Right. Yeah. Right. And, um, so, I, but I'm not sure that we, you, we, we know, uh, like, were the Cavaliers in the British Civil War these types of Cavaliers? Or were they, like, political, like, fancy people? Like, um, because that's what, oh, so we, we have a segment, saying. right? And we want to we talk about. We do have a segment. We to talk we're about. talk about this. Um, kind of rabbit holes that our brains went down when we thought about what a cavalier was. Because the first part of it and the part of it that uh, I guess one might say is interesting, although also not interesting at all, you be the judge. Um, but what the point is what we decided was that we don't really know what a cavalier is. Yeah. Um, we know that there is some sort of mounted unit that's a cavalier. Mounted military. Yeah. Um, cavalry, cal cavalier. The yeah. words are somewhat similar, right? And nobody in chat is telling us what it no means, so they don't know either. They, they, they can They don't care. We can tell them anything. So um, I'm sure they'll believe it. Seg the the segment here for the day uh, is uh, talking about what this word means. <laughs> what this I'm pretty word... sure it's this one, but I didn't check, so we'll see. Nope, it's not that one. Oh, it's the discussion one. I think it's not that one either. All right, so we're just gonna do it by hand. No, no, no. Okay. I don't okay. see it. Oh, I see. That's okay. We'll just do it here. No big deal. Um, okay, so we wanted to talk about what we thought Cavalier meant and what kind of uh, rabbit hole our brain went down when we started talking about Cavalier. Yeah. Um, this is this is you, Meg. Talk to me about what I'm looking at here. Okay, so my point A is Cavalier and my point B is Gollum. And I'll go through how I got to Gollum from Cavalier. Okay. But I wanted to just look up what a Cavalier was. Mm -hmm. Like... Games Workshop did not come up with this term, obviously. Not, no. And so I'm like, where did they get it from? Which is like, weird. It means they can't copyright it. <laughs> I know. Maybe they'll change it soon. <laughs> um, it's Cities of Sigmar Cavalier. Maybe that whole thing. Is it? Is that what it is? Is it Cities Free of Sigmar? Free Guild. Free Guild. Thank you. Guild Maybe that Cavalier. whole term is like copyright. Copyrightable. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, like these guys apparently were bootlickers. <laughs> like they believed hmm. in the divine right of kings <laughs> yeah and so they went and helped <clears throat> were trying to help king charles become uh i don't know stay king or whatever like when whatever revolution has happened the civil war yeah well like we were saying they are you know they were <clears throat> excuse me like wealthy like landowner fancy pants. People. yeah of right, course right, they right. want to be they, they want, want things to stay the same because right, exactly. when you're doing well you don't want things to change exactly yeah um so that was them that was what i generally gathered from them and then what what was it oh as i was reading this isn't like me on wikipedia it said uh it, it did it did in fact mention like these guys like the way they dress right it's like typical 1600s like fashion mm -hmm. right which is like those puffy those puffy collars and stuff mm -hmm. well like puffy collars and um like I don't know, these rich fabrics and things like that. And so I was reading about that a little bit. Like, I think we're all kind of familiar with what this looks like. We've all seen enough historical dramas yeah. to know how these people dressed. Um, but uh, breeches came up, like those little shorts that they wear. 
Okay. That are... It's like shorts that go to your knee. I'm like, we call these capri pants today. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't know what these were when you... What breeches were? <clears throat> yeah. You'd yeah, never yeah. heard that before. I don't think so. Really? I'm kind of surprised. Um, I mean, I've heard the term. I guess I didn't know specifically what article of clothing they were. Okay. Um, but they apparently stayed in fashion until trousers came along. Uh, d- supplanted by the trouser? Supplanted by the trouser, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was reading about breeches. Now it's like I ran out of pictures, right? Um, how did I get from breeches to Gollum? It is not what was, you know, Smeagol wearing at the start of Lord of the Rings. It had to do with the term breeches or breech Mm -hmm. is actually already a plural for the original root of the word which is i guess it's like brock b-r-o-c it's like breach okay is already plural okay, okay and the double plural is us saying breaches and so i forget where in the article it says something like about the term being a double plural so i was like oh what's that like i want to look into what that is what's a double plural so i just explained it to you right um kind of. like breach so like if you think um Like, geese is uh, the plural form of goose, mm-hmm. but it's irregular, right? Because it's geese. It's it's not gooses. You, you right. change the word completely it, right. to become geese. Okay. So, if you say geeses, uh, now it's a double plural. And that's not good. Well, it's just a thing. Or it's it's funny. just what it's called. I don't know. It's a funny, it's just what it's they a call joke it. thing? I don't know if it's a joke. I don't think it's funny. Um, I need to move on. I keep working on the same horse. This is why I don't get anything done, guys. Um, yeah, and then it was like, and then that article linked to, ooh, re, let me find my phone, because it's not on here for you guys. Um, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Reduplicated plural. Okay. And I was and- like, what the heck is this? The English language is really weird. Okay, and what is a reduplicated plural? So, reduplicated plural is like when something is already plural, Mm -hmm. and then you pluralize it again. And the example that (sighs) that article gave at the bottom is the way Gollum says hobbitses. Oh, right. Nasty hobbitses, right? And so, that's how I got to Gollum (laughs) from Cavalier. Right. I I saw that, and that, that was kind of interesting, yeah. Yeah. What what do you think about that? Um, I mean, yeah, it's interesting, I guess. Um, I think, I think it's kind of interesting that like, uh, I'm trying to wonder. Uh, I I guess I need to look up what it what a cavalier is. Um, kind of here we're being shown in GW that it's a military situation. And it does sort of line up. Ready. It does sort of line up with what you're talking about yeah. about um, them being like landowners and how knights were landowners, but also military. Um, it does kind of line up with that. I, I, but I'm curious if those cavaliers in the 1600s were these types of cavaliers that are like fighting and stuff. <laughs> I don't like, know. I don't know. <laughs> um, Hard to say, man. Yeah. So um, very, very. <laughs> I hope that was interesting. For yeah. You. Um, it was interesting for me. Yeah. Now I randomly know more about the English language and what breaches are. <laughs> um, okay, but let's go down your rabbit holes. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. So when I thought of Cavalier for the first time, um, I definitely thought <laughs> of, of a Chevrolet Cavalier. Um, and this is a car that my parents had. This is the first car I remember my family had. My mom actually got into a car accident with in, in hmm. our red Chevrolet Cavalier. I remember oh, it was memories. exterior red, interior red. Um, and it was looked pretty much just like this one and in the early nineties. Um, and so you can see that's where I'm starting. And then where I'm ending is the 1995 album Tiger Lily by Natalie Merchant, a real banger, by the way, to be honest with you, this album is, is amazing. It's almost all hits on here. It's good. I don't album. know if I've heard this album. It's, uh, a, it's a good album. I don't remember if I have or not. I listened to Maybe it Maybe my mom had it. Yeah. Um, so how did I get from Cavalier to 
Natalie Merchant, Tiger Lily. Okay, well, the first thing um, here is that after thinking about our Cavalier and after my mom crashed it, we then got a new car, and that car was a Chevrolet Lumina. That's the car you drove. Now, I actually... You, Lu- you drove a different one. Yeah, it was a different yeah. Lumina uh, when I met you. Your I had family I, was just all about Luminas. Yeah, um, apparently. Which was, not, which was weird because they weren't great cars. <laughs> Um, and in fact, um, American cars throughout the 90s and it's 80s were famously horrible yeah. cars, not not well made, um, except with the exception of this next car coming up here, uh, the Chevrolet Nova. Now, what makes the Chevrolet Nova such an interesting car is that it was built in this next picture, the Numi factory here in Fremont, California. Oh. And what's really interesting about the Numi factory is that... Um, Cars were being built in a particular way in the 70s, 80s, and 90s in the U.S. where um, you took a car, you put it on a conveyor belt, and the car ran through the conveyor belt. And let's say my job was to put some kind of internal window component on Mm -hmm. um, in the door. Well, let's say when the car got to the conveyor belt, which you could not stop, the conveyor belts could never stop. Yeah. Uh, That was from management, from uh, the owners of the car company. Uh, of uh, of the factory. Yeah. Um, let's say, like, you missed it or, or it didn't go in right or you go to put the component in and it's busted or it's broken. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, put it in anyway and tag it. Or they'd be like, oh, you missed it? Okay, cool. It keeps going. Oh, no. Then the person who puts the door panel on sees, oh, my God, this car has no internal windows. They're like, cool, don't care. Do your job. Put the door on anyway. This is This is a real thing. This is a real thing. This is I can't tell how if this freaking is stupid. Good or bad. It's yeah. extremely bad. Okay. It was extremely bad. And it explains why American cars throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s were really crappy. And Can you often imagine like you get a car and it's like, oh sorry, we forgot to put the windows in. So so, so what they would then do, <laughs> so what they would then do, they'd put the door panel over top and then you'd tag it. You had the tag. You say, hey, this car's effed up. Okay. Okay. Then they would take that car and they would drive it out into a lot. And one of two things would happen. Either the car would sit there and basically one day get thrown away, the whole freaking car, or they would try to fix it, depending on if it could be fixed or not. Yeah. And this, I'm making this sound like you might be thinking, oh, that's pro- that was probably a rare occurrence. It wasn't. Every day, dozens <laughs> Every of cars day. going through the factory, um, things were missed, things were forgotten. Um, and so the Numi factory is interesting um, because the Numi factory was, um, Chevrolet was like, hey... Um, we're kind of getting kicked, our butts kicked by, um, the two other main, uh, G, uh, well, they were GM, so it was GM, yeah. uh, by Ford and, um, and, and Dodge at the time. And they were like, Hey, let's do this weird collaboration. Uh, I don't know who set this up with Japanese car makers. And the reason they did that is because Americans were stopping buying American cars and buying Japanese cars. Mm-hmm. Cause we got into a Japanese car, the window worked. It worked. And what they did in Numi was they learned they the basically Americans learned a lot of things from how the Japanese made. Uh, I'm using these ones. What, what what can I help you with? No, you're fine. Um, oh, here it is. Uh, so uh, Americans learned kind of a bunch of things from how the Japanese were working. The Japanese learned some things from the Americans, um, and they made the the kind of iconic car they made was this car, the Chevrolet Nova. Um, there's a likelihood that in North America you can still find these on the road today. They're like indestructible. My, They're amazing. Yeah, yeah, my aunt and uncle who owned horses and live in the middle of nowhere have a 68 Chevy Nova. That would be different. That's a little different. So okay. that, that would be like a classic car Got that it. they retired and then they brought this guy back. And this was actually also the Honda Accord. Okay. So if you get into a Honda Accord and a Chevrolet Nova from the same time period, they were making the car at Numi. And then they would brand some of them, or it was Toyota, I think. They would brand some of them Toyota, whatever the Toyota car was, mm-hmm. and they'd brand some of them this. Um, anyway, it's super interesting. Um, yeah. The Numi factory o- stayed open for a while. It did its thing. Um, its formula never went to any other factory. Um, American cars got better on their That's own good. in different ways. <laughs> Sounds like. But, um, which is nice. But, yeah, they never really transferred the, the awesome formula from the Numi factory to other uh, places because it had a lot to do with um, just wait. This... I thought we didn't like this formula because no, they would skip. No, the new me, the new me factory did. Oh, the, the new Japanese fa- hybrid, thank you, American yes. hybrid okay. system that worked really well. Got it. Um, anyway, right. you can. There's lots of stuff. Look up like there's books about this. It's very. It's really like a cool story um, about 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 new me. Uh, the Numi factory. Yeah. Um, anyway, talking about cars, then made me start thinking about one of my favorite '90s cars, the 1994 Ford Tempo. 
And then after that, I started thinking, did Tiger Lily come out in 94 or 95? It actually came out in 95. And that's how you got there. That's how I got there. <laughs> what a rabbit hole that was. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyway, I'd encourage you guys, um, <laughs> if you want to read a cool kind of uplifting story about manufacturing, uh, look into the new me factory in, um, in the, in, in Fremont, California. Yeah. It, it, it closed recently. Um, oh, not too recently. That's not very but uplifting. It has, it has since closed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. waiting for this to dry and then I'll give it to you. But, um, okay. oh my gosh. Um, yeah, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Um, we have some super chats to get to. Wanted to remind you guys of different ways you can help support us, keep us going. If you are enjoying this content and want to see more of it, um, thank you, Rudy, for the five memberships. That's awesome. Thanks, Rudy. That helps us out a good, ton. Good to hear from you as always. Yeah. yeah. We're always happy when uh, new people get to try us out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that helps us a lot. Okay. Um, Rudy says, along with that, good evening from Bahrain. Hobby collab. I can only watch the stream for a few minutes. With the large number of AOS units I'm hearing are being removed, what armies, models, terrain projects are you planning to work on in the coming weeks? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I see Saray yeah. has answered. Hi, Saray. Um, Saray doing some KO. Um, <clears throat> Meg is doing some Lumineth and some... Um, she's working on her, her uh, Starborn leaning... Um, if that even is a thing in mm -hmm. fourth ed, starborn leaning seraphon. What I'm doing is taking the opportunity to go back. Um, we have just finished a lot of army projects here, and I'm taking the opportunity to go back and add to a lot of armies um, to to bump up our numbers and our options. Um, for one, even if it wasn't about to start switching into fourth ed, I'd want to be doing that um, just so we have bigger collections and can run more things. Um, we don't always want to run meta stuff. We like to switch it up. We like to run little off meta things and uh, see what kind of leverage and interesting little cute things we can get out of those units that are just like sitting there. And you're like, hey, you know what? This looks like it might be kind of good or interesting. Um, mm -hmm. So we are um, we are kind of currently. Uh, well, I guess I should say that's sort of what I'm doing. And that's the Cavaliers are sort of step one in that. I want to get these 10 Cavaliers done to add to the city's army. Um, I'll probably be doing some Chosen for the Slaves to Darkness army and a Demon Prince also for the Slaves to Darkness army um, that we have here. Um, a couple things for Night Haunt. Daughters are pretty good. I just added the daughters. Yeah. Um, and then the other real big thing is uh, some terrain. We're adding... Yeah, we're, the Mandrels got to vote on that. Yeah, we're... Just Serena are going to be starting a terrain board um, that is a Gloom Spike Gets themed terrain board um yeah and in addition to even just that one i'm also kind of working on um adding some stuff actually yesterday we didn't make a big deal out of it but yesterday um we, we didn't have time to we, the game was so the game was pretty good. we <laughs> premiered a train board <laughs> that um i i made most of forever ago but it was really a 40k train board and i've, I've kind of since gone through and added some elements of um uh, Sigmar stuff to it to yeah. make it a to make it be a, a Sigmar board as well. So, yeah, I would say I would say that's it. Yeah, I mean, and you guys saw that we also have um, like the we had the uh, running Space Marine project come out this year um, earlier this year. We have more projects like that in the works, which yes. aren't related to Age of Sigmar. Um, uh, one of them is. Actually, one of them is, yeah, yeah but yeah. it's not related kind to of. playing, kind it's not of. related to playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's coming up too. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, we have some kit bash collabs that we've been talking about. Yeah, if you guys remember have, those from last we year, haven't we haven't, had, done, one we haven't done one in a while. We haven't forgotten about those. We want to bring a couple of those back. Um, all of us, let's see, what do we? I, I don't want to give any hints because we're still talking about what we want to do next, but. You have that to look forward to yeah. also. Yeah. But thank you, Rudy, for the super chat. And sorry that there's no party lights. They're broken. Yeah. And we're, what are you working on? We're fixing on? them. Rudy, when you, if yeah. you watch, if you're still, or if you're still here, what are you working on? Hey, Meg, also, can I see, did you finish that guy? Which one? That one? No, I was going to, um, null and oil one more time. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I'm doing, I'm not always having all the colors match. That's I want fine. like a mix of colors. I'm really not I, worried about it. Can I see them real quick? I just want to see Which how. Which one? This? Uh, no. This one? Yeah. The I one I'm want, about to paint? Yeah. <laughs> just want to see. Oh yeah, look, this is going to be cool. I did orange to go with this. Oh yeah. 
in white up here. So, okay, fun. Nice. Um, guys, there's still a little bit of time left to vote in our poll. Don't forget to vote in it. It's very important, like all of our polls. Yes, it is. We will close it um, temporarily shortly. here shortly. Temporarily. <clears throat> um, anyway, yeah, yeah so um, that's, that's the plan. Um, I think I will, I was telling Meg before the stream that I probably will really go all in on the um, 10 Cavaliers and the Cavalier Marshal um, because I don't actually want to lose them. It's not, I don't know if you guys ever feel this way, it's not a project I want to lose momentum on. Um, it is a lot. And each Cavalier is like its own thing. There's a lot going on. They they look really cool. Um, and I'm, I'd be a little bit worried about, like I said, I, I, for lack of a better way of describing that, I'd be a little bit worried about losing momentum on them. I don't know if that term makes sense to you guys or not, but I, I do not want to, uh, like, have to... It's not a model I want... Uh, a group of models I want to have to put down and pick up a few months later and be like, mm. what is going on here? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I did that with my Raptodon chargers and hunters and I am not looking forward to getting back into it yep. because the way I painted them is very complicated and, um, you didn't write it down. That's not even the part that's, I, it's fine. Like I wouldn't have written this part down anyway. Like, right. No, I agree. Like yeah. it wouldn't have helped me. I, mm -hmm. It's more like, Getting into this, the flow of it, like, okay, here's what I was doing. I'm very comfortable doing this step. I remember it's like mm -hmm. the muscle memories there. Like, I gotta that. That's the part that is, I think, kind of annoying to have to rebuild. This is why I'm gonna try to make ravioli. I'm just do it all at the same time. This way, I'm gonna try to make ravioli every Tuesday for the next few weeks. Oh, that's good for me. I wanna, yeah. Af after this past week. The first batch of ravioli I made did not come out that well, and I realized that. And I, but it started. I started to realize what I'd done wrong. Then the second type, the second type went a lot better, and I was like, "Oh yeah, here it comes." But I want to, you know, for lack of a better better term, get mm -hmm. that muscle memory going. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, do I give you this also? Shammy has, oh, Shammy has interesting little legs. Um, okay. Sorry, what? That's the maroon horse top. Oh, okay. Um, do you want the bottom then? Um. I was gonna. Sh no, well, sure. Or Let me paint the hooves. Okay. It feels almost Meg. Oh, okay, Rudy's still there. Cool. Yeah. It feels almost Meg like we could pass two of them back and forth and it would work. Oh, sure. <laughs> Um, because there's so much going on on these models. Uh, Rudy says, currently working on 40K for an Otic Furnace. Oh, that's cool. This is the uh, uh, Adeptus Mechanicus stuff. And Sector Mechanicus trained to match some Rampart train. I completed it last month. You have room for all of that in um, <laughs> over there? In over there? Uh, well, he's, I mean, he's, I know. you know, he's, he's... He's all over. He's deployed. He's got limited, yeah. limited space allotted to him, I'm sure. Right. Um... Berry, not crab ravioli. Although I do like crab, ra crab ravioli. ravioli. I know, I know. I uh, you're you're getting at me for saying that. I think crab pasta is sort of weirdly a waste of both pasta and crab. And crab. But I actually think crab ravioli is better. I want to be able to like bite in the chunks of crab. I don't want to have a crab like spread around my pasta. Mm. If that makes sense. And I have made Dungeness crab ravioli before, and it was very good. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna make this Tuesday. Actually, I might. I I maybe should make crab ravioli because um. Dungeons Crab Season is is wrapping up here in the Bay Area, so this is probably the last opportunity I'm going to get here in the next week or so to make it. There we go. I'm going um, on this guy. So I might. I was thinking about doing lamb also, um, lamb and uh, carrot ravioli, but I might do lamb, or I might do just Dungeons Crab. Um, what I made this past week, I made two types. I posted pictures of them in the food. Mm -hmm. um, thing mm -hmm. I made two mm -hmm. types. The one that didn't come out as well because it was a little wetter than it than you really want your stuffing to be for a ravioli, your filling, um, was asparagus and fontina, and then um, the one that came out much better was chicken, white carrot, and thyme. Oh, he's got this coloring on his knees. So we'll see. 
I'm just going to add that in a little bit. And the annoying thing about out. making um, Dungeon's Crab ravioli is I have to buy Dungeon's Crabs, which is fine, and I have to sit, clean Dungeon's Crabs first, mm -hmm. which I don't mind doing. Oh, that sounds so good. But yeah. but that to sit there. Oh, we can no have for the ravioli. Uh, yeah, for the ravioli, it's extra work because then you got to make ravioli with it. But yeah. having Dungeon's Crab by itself is pretty nice. Oh, we could have some tonight, maybe. That would be nice. Actually. Oh, the table's set up though. That's true. We don't have a, a dining room table these days. We, we have a dining room table from Tuesday morning until Friday afternoon. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm going to blur this or blend this in a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. This is, yeah, this is coming out good. I'm liking this. Yeah? Yeah. The yellow um, and the brown is a good combo on this horse. He's got a lot of like, this horse has... Um, some speckling, a little bit of speckling on his shoulders, but all that stuff's going to be covered by the armor. Armor, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, but I, I want to bring it down a little bit just so you can kind of see it if you're looking. Yeah, I am. Um... Back legs are also like this. I'm just going to like plug it in and then I'll feather it out. I'm not super excited to paint the Sigmar word. No. Like I've said before, I hate... Oh, I can do that part. I I'm just going to drag it. the brush across the top, honestly. Okay. Some white would look fine, I think. The, it's ye yeah, yellow. Or white. yellow, whatever. Well, I, I've done... Yeah. The road, The rest of it's yellow. Yeah, so the letters but should be white. White would look good, yeah. So it doesn't... Okay. All right. What is this again? I think this is correct stone, yeah. All right, I'm going to close the poll. Oh, yeah, it is time. Um, we're going to close the poll here and see what you, what you fools Some have. Crazy people have, have want decided. to ride. Uh, dragon beat out large dog. Dragon's not even real. It's not even real. Uh, large dog what came in second. What kind of dragon are they talking about here, Zach? And then, and then elephant. And then in last place was ant, parentheses, if you are shrunk down. I've actually ridden an elephant before, have you? No. Yeah, they had him at the fair. I was a little kid. Probably wasn't great. Just casual L.A. County elephant. elephant. <laughs> like, what are you doing here? Yeah. That's cool, though. I don't really remember a whole lot of it. I just remember that it happened, and I was like, oh, riding an elephant. Hmm. What do you hmm. know? Riding oh, an elephant. Wow. Um... It's not all it's cracked up to be, guys. No. I guess that's why they didn't pick it. Yeah, you think these guys know that? I think that maybe they know. They're like, oh yeah, no way are we ele we're not elephant people. This we're is not an elephant writers. Not elephant people. No, okay. Okay. Not hmm, nice what color should I make this cloth part? These are all yellow. I'm surprised dog didn't win though. The dog. With these fanatics. It, it was close. It was close. Yeah. I'm glad you like my shirt, Josh. What's on your shirt today? It's my rancid oh, shirt. Oh, rancid, yeah. It's, it's a popular one. Um, all right, I think I need to go, yeah, I, I'm going to need to go grab another color. I need to, um, oh my God, yeah, Meg, th these are hard to keep track of. Is that, fun is that a funny thing to What's say? What's hard to um, keep track the of? The Cavaliers. I can only really work on two at a time. Um. Like, uh, you know, when I was... I really am not enjoying taking the heads yet. Like, I don't want that yet. Like, okay. take it back. I actually don't want it near me. Okay. Because it stresses me out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I want to get through the bottoms first. Each each one is so much going on, and it's they're all different. And so I'm glad I did all the airbrushing that I did, but now I need to actually just do paint one at a time, I think. Um, I, well, you know, you're helping yeah, me here, and I'll, 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 I am I'll have too. your help, but... After that, I'm kind of like, it's kind of working better for me to just paint one at a time. By the um, way, I just put some Monument Hobbies um, warm, light gray, which is almost a white, directly over top of black with a brush. Fantastic. Yeah? Just covered immediately, yeah. That's good. I mean, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, very nice coverage. Thank you, uh, Leah, oh, we know this for person. your super chat. 
Zach, you want to read it? Leah says, what's the craziest thing that a cavalry unit has ever killed with its horse's hooves? I do not know how to answer this. This is a good question. Is um, this a question about, like, real life, or is this about the game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, this is a good question. Um, like, maybe a troll? I don't know. Like, every, what? <laughs> everybody knows in Sigmar, there's, like, a joke, because uh, everybody remembers the one time you attack a unit, and the, the, the riders whiff. And the riders are supposed to be doing and all kinds, and the horses like act, actually like somehow like pull, horses, pull something uh, off. Hooves, <laughs> and do it. and horses are like not good, right? They like hit on fours, wound on fours with two attacks. No, they're meant no to be rend. carrying you. That's about it. Yeah. Um. So I, you know, I everyone remembers that one time, but I honestly can't. I cannot remember like having horse a horse unit of mine's ho- hooves do really well mm-hmm. um usually they don't do well yesterday in yesterday's game i will say um uh i charged Saray's chaos knights and um as a result they didn't get to do their crazy charge damage um which comes from the riders and so the horses were kind of like keeping pace or doing a little bit more they had to do the heavy lifting than the riders were who were kept missing yeah um but I don't think they really did anything very interesting. Yeah. Turns out horses aren't that good at this. And, you know, I was also reading this thing. I think I was talking to you about this, Megan, mm. about how um, I was researching, like, cavalry and, like, running into people with mm-hmm. horses. And, um, oh, it, yeah. It's not. It's, cha- it's a little chaotic. It's history. not. Yeah. yeah. Um, this came from um, reading about. Napoleon after watching the movie Napoleon That's right. spe- reverse rabbit holing here. I know. And um Napoleon and the French at that time were kind of famous for being one of the few times in history where they had like effective cavalry. Right. Apparently, if you don't train a horse to do it, sure. it won't run into a person. I mean, if you don't train a person to do that, a person doesn't want to just go and get hurt, right? right? Like so, go run into something. So those were yeah, it makes sense. They list out like these, and horses are very easily spooked. Like you don't want to ride a horse that's right not ready for this. It'll they, kill you. They they listed out like the few things that have to the condition all the conditions that have to be met for cavalry to actually happen, <clears throat> and it's like kind of a lot. Like, and the big one is that you have to basically train and raise horses. To learn to run directly into somebody Mm -hmm. who's like holding a spear right at them, right? And like be like, okay, this is fine. Yeah, and and you know the horses have armor, but they don't really know what armor does. You don't put armor on a horse, and it's like, hey, dude, you're gonna be safe now, right? Mm -hmm. The horses and they probably won't. I mean, there's always weak points, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of interesting. Um, And historically, what I was reading is that most like good infantry, like so Roman era, like in antiquity, Roman were like. The Romans were were known to have really like good infantry guys, right? Like well trained, sure. and when um, like the Persians and the Carthaginians would charge them with the horses, the Romans would just stand there, and the cavalry would break. Mm-hmm. Like they'd get close, and then they just run off. They would sure. like turn right or left. They'd be like, yeah, the horses would be like, yeah, we're not doing this, um, and that's what they trained the Roman soldiers to do. They're like, they're not gonna charge you. Like it looks right. scary, and that's like historically what they were used for, which is to be scary. Um, kind of interesting, yeah. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> I know, like I know when like the Spanish came over, like peop- uh, the natives thought. Oh yeah, we, they um, that it was like one giant creature. In right? guns, germs, and steel, they were they're like they're that scared before. of horses. Yeah. Um, I imagine there might may, was there stuff like, well, they probably seen horses, right? Cause, they they had, yeah, but also like people were talking about elephants. That happened the first time the Romans fought sure. elephants. They were like, oh crap, we're running away. Then later they learned that elephants are like, like giant monsters. Right, yeah. they're they're actually, they're actually not, not good at that at all. They're yeah. like, yeah, they spook easily. Yeah, and they're just so big. Yeah. All right. So I don't know how to answer Leah's question. I um, <clears throat> but I, I have to imagine it's some crazy, made up creature in any of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Now, that's different, right? Like, Mornfangs have hooves. I mean, they don't use their hooves to fight. They use their tusks. But, I mean, they wreck everything they touch. Mm. As uh, see, see yesterday's game stream. I know. <laughs> Boris Array. Oh, Boris Array. What a trooper <clears throat> putting up with that abuse. That was that was some abuse. That was some grade A BS <clears throat> that he was on the receiving end of, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um Horse hooves. Horse hooves are pretty scary, though. 
Um, also, don't they have bite attacks? Mornfangs or horses? Horses. Do horses bite yeah. also some, with their teeth? Some types, maybe. I don't think so, I usually, remember. though. Yeah, I just don't remember. What right. are, like, the actual horse units we have? Blood Knights? Mm-hmm. For these guys, which we haven't used yeah, yet. I thought it... Oh, I missed a spot. And, um... Yeah. And... Chaos Knights. Doomfire Warlocks. Oh, yeah, Doom... You're right. Doomfire Warlocks have a bite... That's what it is, yeah. They have a bite attack. And if you look at their mouths, they give them really know, elongated say, teeth. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> kind of ugly. <laughs> Sorry. Melee. Scary melee so battles. Yeah. You know. In frame. It always is. It I know. Just, it just weirdly is. <clears throat> it's not like we were late or anything today trying to get the stream set up correctly. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my gosh, there's so much on this horse. Um it's all right. How much we'll am go I go a little late? How much am I it. going to paint? He has a like, trim that I could paint a different color. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. Mm. A lot. There's armor. There's wood. Oh my gosh. I don't even have wood colors out That's here. okay. We're not going to get through no, all of I it know, today. No, I know. Are you like overwhelming yourself in the future, no, future Zach? Uh, no, because like I said, I'm actually going to paint these guys one at a time and it's going to go pretty quick that way. <clears throat> um, and they're, it'll be enjoyable actually to paint these guys one That's at a time, good. I think. Um, and they're, you know, the base coating's done, so yeah. um, I can just grab one and work on them one at a time. I should do the Marshall, though, sooner than rather than later, because he's he's required. And once we get him and five of these guys, we can um, use them. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to dry brush ah, a little bit of this color, this red color. Just up the knees a little bit. They're kind of weirdly pink. Yeah. Am I taking too long? No, no. I was, I was about to say, I think weirdly they're going to be, ultimately you're going to want units of five, not a unit of ten. Oh, okay. These guys. There so maybe two units of five or just one, even one unit of five. There we go. That's a good blend. He's got like these red little... Oh, that looks great. Knees. Um, okay. I'm going to leave the hooves alone. Um, What else was I going to do? I was thinking of doing some speckling, so let me do that real quick. Sorry, Zach. I'm Why? holding us up. No, you're not. I'm, um, I, I have so he's got this stuff to work on here. here. On his shoulder. So I'll just throw in a couple of... Thanks, Leah, oh. by the way. Yeah, thank you, Leah. That was sweet of you. That was sweet of you. You know you can ask us these questions anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leah, you could have asked that anytime. And she chose to do it now. What a sweetheart. You, cho you chose, yeah, you didn't bring it up in brunch yesterday. Hey, ha what's the weirdest time a horse has ever killed somebody with their hooves? Whoa. <laughs> get it? Just kidding. I didn't get it, actually. I said, whoa. We're talking about horses. Oh, is that... Are you kidding me? You... Never mind. This is why I don't make jokes. Sorry, what? Who's... What's happening? Just kidding. Oh, because like w horses, you say whoa to a horse? That's the traditional term <laughs> when you want them to stop. You say whoa. Oh, okay. No, you didn't know this? I guess you, so. We need to go horseback riding. It'll be fun. It'll okay. be fun. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't seen that in like a movie or something though. That's I have, it. I have. Okay, so you're just messing with I, me. I didn't Got know it. that was like a real thing. I uh, thought... Sure. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, while I'm not going to freehand any her heraldry stuff on these guys, I am going to do like different, like multicolored flags, like with stripes and stuff like that, for sure. I'm just going to throw some in. Okay. It'd be oh, cool if I had the there. time and interest in doing something like checker patterns on some Ooh. of them. Yes, let's do it, Zach. You can right. help me with that. But here is Shammy. Oh, I, I haven't even started that it. one yet. That's fine. I haven't even, the two I'm working out. on are the... Yeah. And I think the top half will actually cover a lot of this, which is fine. 
Um, okay, chamois is a little bit darker than the buckskin. So that's this one. I'll take this back so we keep track of them. Um, yeah, so this is his mother. Let me get her back hooves are lighter. Her dark hooves are, her front hooves are dark, but the back hooves are like a gray, like a brown gray. So I'll do that. We'll start with, I think this is correct stone. Yeah. And then I'll just wash some null oil onto it and that'll be good enough. We'll call it good enough. We have a lot of fan stuff happening today, actually. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of submissions to go through. And then also, we have to announce the winner of this month's hobby challenge from our Discord. Yes. Yeah. So Should we stay tuned. These? Oh, we could. We could. Um, well, we can stay tuned, whichever. Yeah. Let's get going. Um, and then a couple of... Um, some new things happening yes on our channel well for you guys okay we'll do that i'll do the null oil in a second she should be brighter though oh this is the leader guy her. actually i just realized oh yeah i gave him an eye patch he's oh a cool he's a pirate guy. i love that pirates are cool all right, let's got take this, flag. this Typhon Ash. It's pretty bright. Yeah, there are two people that can be leaders. Yes, good. Mm. Okay, so we can have two, two squads of five. How's it going, Meg? It's good. Sorry, I got quiet. No, it's okay. <laughs> it happens. These are actually very fun to paint. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy. Pretty easy too. I'm gonna enjoy um, painting them. Yeah. You can really <laughs> just dry brush and wash all of this, like a lot of the the, the horse part anyway. Yeah. They... And you don't have to make every horse different, right? Like you can just have a bunch of. You yeah, pick one scheme you like and we just have apply over it. here we have two white ones, two black ones, and a gray one. Mm -hmm. We're doing like all the warmer colors today. But yeah, I didn't have, know any horses of that color. We do have uh, two white ones, two black ones, and a gray one over here. Are we allowed to put the names on the bases? No. Dang no, it. no, no. Oh, no. oh, have you heard this sound too? For horses? Yeah, for horses. Are you familiar with that sound? No. That was weird. Why'd I do that? Okay. Um, there were horses where I grew up, but my family yeah, no, didn't no. really do horse stuff. You guys didn't. We were yeah. city people. I mean, yeah, I mean, I had to fly to rural Washington to go enjoy this. But horse riding is, horse riding is available in L.A. too. Like, I actually took lessons um, in L.A. County. I took English lessons. There's like English style, Western style. There's probably other styles, but mm -hmm. I'm not that familiar. Um, and I took English. And that's where you do like dressage and jumping. And they're the ones with like the round helmets mm -hmm. with the bills. Yep. <clears throat> I liked I liked it, actually. Um, but my grandmother, my family was... Um, all about Western style, which is the saddle with the horn on it and the cowboy hat and the, I don't know, fancy, like, show clothing. Okay. Yeah. Did you do that one, too? You did, right? I didn't take lessons. I took lessons, like, from my grandma. Oh, okay. She knows what she's doing, so I guess it counts. Um... Yeah, and then I tried again in college to do, like, Western-style writing, and it wasn't lessons. Like, you signed up for it, and it was like, nope, you're in shows. Like, you need to, now you go do shows, and you practice kind of casually. And I was like, oh, I'm not that good. Like, I thought this was going to be, like, lessons and oh, I see. prepping. And I, 
that's probably the most, yeah, it was hard. Uh, so I didn't, I stopped doing it. Um, I was like, I just don't have time for this anymore. Like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's expensive to get lessons. So it's been a long time since I've gone. Um, yeah. Okay. You can take the buckskin back. I want to say she's good here. Yeah. Looks pretty good. All right. And then I can work on, um, this nerd. What a nerd. Who's the nerd? Me. Right oh. there. Um, I'm pretty much working on one model right now. Okay. Let's see how far I can get. Yeah. I'm going to work on this chestnut. She's like a little little bit of a chestnut. And Palomina's back here. Um, I wish my sister was watching. Guys, Emily. This is Emily. She's single. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, stop it. <laughs> um, Let's see. What color did you actually paint this horse? What was your base coat? Do you remember? Which one I is it? I guess you wouldn't. The chestnut. Oh, it would have been like more in fang brown. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I'll start with that. And it'll probably work up to, yeah, Tau Light Ochre. There's a little bit of that in her highlights. Um... And I cannot see her feet. Yeah, she was, this horse was like all pretty much the same color. So it should be pretty easy to get through. So I'm going to actually dry brush this again over the top. Um, Leah went horseback riding. See, she's something girls do. You always wanted a Palomino. Yeah, they're so pretty. It's such a pretty coloring. Um, our, my aunt... And uncle's Palomino was named Fancy Pants. Hmm. Horses often have dumb names, I mean. Well, it's funny because they had show names. Mm -hmm. And then they had, like, nicknames that we would call them, right? Like, Honey's real name, like, her, her show name was Honeysuckle Checks. Okay. And it's built from the names of her parents. Again, I can't remember the right words you're supposed to use. Um, but like the mare and the stallion, right? The, mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of them is, has checks in the name. The other one I think had suckle or something related to honeysuckle. And so it became honeysuckle checks. And so she was actually fancy pants show name was skipping along. I don't know where that came from, honestly. I mean, the names of her horse parents, right? But mm -hmm. I don't know how they got fancy pants. I think it was just like something cute. They probably called her and it stuck. I should ask. There's only so much time left. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> time passes on, man. I mean, I time guess I'm. On. I guess I'm. Yeah, kind of wondering why do horses often have such weird names? I don't know that actually. I feel like I should, but I don't. All right, this horse also needs some red in it. Do we have a red wash? I'm realizing. Um, we have them. I, I have to go get them. I was just wondering if we not here. That's fine. Not I can go here. get it. Yeah. Okay, but it is actually nice to do color blocking and start to see how things are going to yes. look. Um, maybe I can pass this guy, Meg. Sorry. Guys. I haven't done any of his skin or his face or his hair um his armor probably mostly would be his color he'll have a red shield which you not seen here but you can start to see i'll, I'll put this over i'll pass this to you Meg, so you can show the coloration on um this guy it's kind of going to be what's going on with him okay did yeah. sorry did you mean to take this no i just showed it in the oh, camera okay okay oh the camera yeah, sorry just so people can kind of see I'm yeah like... so this is actually one of the squad leaders guys i'm doing like yellow and white on him you can see that white uh, diamond thing that'll have a um, that'll have a uh, for sure have a um, decal in it. We'll have to do the tail. Obviously, I have to do his face and hair. I'll put decals on the flag on the top. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm liking the color palette coming out on him. Yeah, the cool. brown, white, yellow. I like the way you split the flag. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm that. gonna try to do a lot of that on on these guys. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah. 
I'm a very big fan of yellow and white together. Like yeah. I, I, I like the look of it, so I think this guy's going to be cool. All right, I'm going to get a color, and then should we do fan stuff? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, I'm, oh, there's a color I needed, too. What do you need? I can't remember now. Okay, I can help you. So the part I give back to you. Oh, I gave the top part back to you. I can't remember what it was. It's okay, Meg. I'll figure you it sure? out. Yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, there's there's so much I can do here today on stream, but um, really, um, the, the fun part's going to be working on these guys over the week. Kind of one at a time. I um, The reason why I wasn't paying attention is because Leah texted us. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So we might have plans tonight. We'll see. What a good friend. Uh, do you want to do fan stuff? Um, fans, yes, please. We yes, should, yeah, because yeah, yeah, there's, like I said, there's a lot. So let's take a look at it. You guys did stuff. Um, let me pull up all the names. I think I know this person, though. This is Soy Sumer. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Th now, this is one of the models that is going to Legends. <laughs> it uh, looks we, great, though. We have one of these guys as well. I know um, we said and, that. And, I'm a, and it's, it's one of our only losses for Stormcast. Um, so I, and I am a little bummed about it and, you know, admittedly a little surprised, I will, I will say, um, even though we, we gave, uh, people whining too much about this, some, some guff yesterday. You're just having fun. We gave them the business a little bit. Um, but it, this one was a little surprised. I, I think this model holds up, but keep in mind, um, that is an old, uh, Stormcast model riding it. And, you know, that, they shown her age compared to a Vindictor for sure. Are they? Okay. The Vindictor. Yeah. You know... They're a little know, squatter. Man. They're a little squatter, and they have like. I guess. Yeah. I I was looking at the comparisons, um, and I was, honestly, Zach, like, the the differences seem very subtle to me when I look. Like it's. They and I are. Don't, I don't mean yeah. Like you could easily blend your old models in. Absolutely. To the new ones. Absolutely. Yeah. I hope people do. So I don't. I think it looks fine. Yeah. To me, honestly, I think it looks like the model itself. Anyways, the paint job is cool. I love all yeah. these crazy colors. I love sure. when people. Have fun with their color palette. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, Soy thanks, Soy Sumer. Yeah, thanks nice. for always being nice a work. fun contributor to our our little family, yeah. our little Discord family. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Where are we at? All right. This is Cody. This is Cody this... working on some tree lords. Yeah. This is Sylvaneth. Um, I have to say, these, these guys are something I think I'm going to be tackling in the next year or so. Um, and his, his work is inspiring. Um, he's got one of each here, it looks like. The Spirit of Durthu, a Tree Lord, and a Tree Lord and Ancient. They all mm -hmm. look super fun. They're actually not that Beautiful. big. They're not that big. This is not, um, the oval size base that, like, a, that, like, a Stonehorn is on. Um, it's like, it's like a weird, smaller one. It's, like, bigger than most cavalry, smaller than most monsters kind mm. of size. It's kind of weird. Uh, but these look great. I love his green... Um, he's been cranking out a lot of stuff in this, yeah. in this color scheme, and it, it's all looking good, as always. Cody, great work, as always. Looks good. Uh, oh, what's this? This is from Ruth. Ruth just joined our Discord, and she crochets, and I was like, this is great. We need more more fiber artists <laughs> in, yeah. our, in our channel. Yeah. Um, Ruth, uh, yeah, this is, it's like a, what is it from? What's that movie? Gosh, dang it. Um... How to Train Your Dragon? Thank you. I was like, I don't think I've... I have seen it. I saw it recently. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon. It's their little crochet uh, dragon. What was its name? I don't know. I know. Gosh dang it. I'm so bad at this. Um, but yeah, I, I love this, Ruth. Thank you for showing it off. Um, please keep sharing your cute little fabric, crochet, yarn, fiber, whatever mm. projects with us. We love sharing them. Thank you for the hearts. This is Devin's. Oh, okay, yeah, this is great. We haven't. He hasn't been able to get a good picture of it, so he finally um, submitted one, and this got. Uh, this is what he got his um, one of his finalist. Oh, okay. Medals for yeah. Okay. Isn't it amazing? I uh, just I wanted everyone to see it. You it guys, there's great. more pictures of this. Tons of pictures, tons of close ups in the Discord. Make sure you check it out. Toothless. That's right. The dragon's name was Toothless. Honestly, the floor here is maybe my favorite part. Yeah, isn't it cool? The glow he's got kind of going. So good. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. That yellow. Um, I, yeah, I like the way he has the yellow with the green and the blue, too. Like, 
Those are really vibrant. Should I work on this one? You can. Yeah. Thank you, Devin. And Devin, we will see Devin next Sunday. He'll be on stream with me. We're going to be doing tactical rocks. Um, and you'll learn those from a professional. Yeah. Like you're learning tactical rocks great. from a professional. While glamifying them. Right? No, I know. It's very I know, easy to just dry brush a rock what a time, and call it done. What a time to be alive. I think so. I know. I'm not being sarcastic. Here's it's, Timbit. It's true. Timbit. Oh, this is cool. Is isn't, that, a, isn't that fun freehand on the shoulder pad? What is this? A thousand sun Timbit? What is this? I don't know. I thought you would know. I thought you would tell me. No. I, do. Oh, boy. I think it's a thousand sun. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the, the shoulder pad freehand is amazing. Isn't it great? I you know. I just said I don't want to do much freehand on these and now Timbits. Well, I mean. I will do something. That, some. what Timbit has chosen, uh, uh, I will looks do amazing. Like, I will do some It's details. hard to get like clean lines like this, right? Yeah. But it looks not too intimidating. Like, Intimidating? <laughs> <get it? laughs> um, like you could do something more simplified like this and it would be fine, I think. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of, like, how many times do you feel like doing it? <laughs> but it does, it yeah, does look... it looks really, really nice. Good. And that's a beautiful red. Um, it's very, like... It feels like a very grown-up red. You know, we've talked about this, like, with Molecules Blue. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah grown, it's a grown-up red. It is a grown-up yeah, red. I like, like it. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for being such a great member in our community, too. Soups. Soups with his angry red. More red. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like red, red. And I always like choosing the angle where you can see his free hand. Um, and so it's, you get the you get the butts today, guys. You get the backs of these angry boys so you can yeah. see his little free hand shoulder pads. Looks good. As always, good work as always, Soups. Yeah, thanks, Soups. Thanks yeah. for all your help all the time. Yeah, really nice. Nice pictures. Nice free hand. Ooh, this looks good. This is bright. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, is that freehand banner? Is that looks what like is it? That? that looks great. Isn't that beautiful? Wowie wow. Yeah, wow. it's great. Yeah, that's great. I I I love um, Bright's uh, white Space Marine army. The mm -hmm. like gr like grayish dinge color he's using looks very cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We know this guy's a good painter. Yeah, this is this is great. Bright, it is. Oh, we always whenever we see something in bright, we have to figure out what time it is where bright is. I know, poor bright. It is. Well, it should be the same time every Sunday. I know. Since we've yeah. done the stream the same time. Oh, you're right. You're right. That, that but I don't out. remember what we said last time. You subtract five hours. Okay. So 6.39 a.m. Monday, mm -hmm. though. And then you add a day, basically. So Monday. So it's Monday morning. Monday morning, yeah. He's probably Starting just work. He's oh, probably getting bummer. up. Yeah. Bummer, bright. Well, thank you for submitting. Love oh, we know who chef. this is. Broken Chef working on this. Oh, my uh, Nurgle. Yeah, this stuff is great. I love how this is coming out. Same, same, yeah. same. Yeah. He's, he's killing it. It's so pretty. Yeah. Um, And he's finished with it. I had the... I actually, like... I thought when he first started, I was really into... Uh, <clears throat> I I thought he was... He... um, The purple was very cool. And I was actually a little skeptical on the blue glowy... Worm and and oh really thing. that's well, like my at favorite. first at first yeah and I think it's just that um that maybe like he was just posting them while he was working on them and not taking like really like, like nice clear pictures but now that I'm seeing the pictures yeah oh, it's same it's like my I favorite love yeah. that part same, yeah same it's great yeah um I think this has come out really nice chef um and it's pretty obvious that you've put a lot of heart into this project. He's, so. he's on a, we haven't seen him in a while, but he's on a family, he's on a trip. family vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. docks him a little bit. Where's he at? Actually, have an I don't address? know. I don't know. Uh, latitude, longitude? <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we love doxing on our trip. And then, oh, Rudy. Rudy! Yay, look at this train. There's so many pictures of this terrain. This is really cool. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. And it's like Tyranid related, which I appreciate, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Rudy, this is so cool. Rudy, what kit is this? Well, Rudy kit bashes too, right? I mean, he he does. Yeah, he I does. guess this is a mix, right? Um, I'm kind of wondering what the what like the structure. I cannot is. remember um, if he said or not in the Discord, but wow, so um, like there's so many fine details in here, and like 
edge highlighting and stuff. It just looks, it really pops. Like this whole thing just pops. Yeah. I think even the darker areas, like the non, what do we call it? Colored areas, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, honestly, just like his concrete looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good. Yeah, I don't know. This, That's what I meant. The I'm, I'm concrete, the the concrete con looks yeah. great. Yeah. And then, yeah, is this... I need to go look at more pictures of this. Mm -hmm. There is a lot. You guys should definitely go check out the Discord if you haven't already. Give Rudy some props for this beautiful terrain he's put together. Even though he's busy. Yeah, Rudy, are you painting and working on this stuff here while you're on deployment? Yeah. Or was this when you're... When he you're, comes home, He maybe? was back home for a little yeah. bit just recently, I know. Um... Yeah, well, it looks amazing. Yeah, we love it. And kind of curious what the terrain from was from. Archon Studios, Rampart Terrain. Uh, Got it from a okay. Kickstarter. Well, it's great. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, um, that's us. But um, let's see. Uh, okay. So we went through fan stuff. Mm -hmm. There were also more submissions from we want to talk about last month that we want to highlight because they were part of our hobby challenge. Um and so a really quick, quick reminder of what the Hobby Challenge is for anybody who's not aware. Um, every month is a different theme. And to enter, you just post uh, whatever it is that you're working mm -hmm. on with the hashtag crowing for it. There's a reason for this. Um, at the end of the month, there's a winner and you get a Discord title, which um, our winner, which we haven't announced yet, doesn't have it yet, but they'll get it today. Um, and then Soups is wearing, uh, Soups is working on, <laughs> weird, mm, okay. cast, <laughs> he's wearing a castle on crow mini, um, working on a castle on crow and it's being split into 12 pieces so that every month, whoever wins gets to dictate what that piece looks like. Um, and this month's, uh, theme is, well, let me get to it. <laughs> it's a different, it's a different button. It's illusion. So. Go ahead and submit your submissions for Illusion this yeah. month in our Discord. Last month, the theme was Beginnings. Um, if you remember from this horrifying photo of Soups captured while he was in the womb. Um, and these are the entries we received. They're all really awesome. And actually, we had a hard time voting. We had a multi-way tie for a couple of days. Yes. It took a really long time to it's break the tie. It's pretty hard. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty hard. It is hard. And I kind of I kind of hate it. I, it's okay. I, I have that we like, love oh, I want all of these things. Win. Yeah, know, it's true. You do. But like there always has to be somebody. Um and and this time is is no different. Yep. Yeah. But we had so many cool submissions and it's cool to see like the array of styles. That thing um, is weird, yeah. And that's what's hard about it, right? Everyone has a different style, and you, it's hard to, like, put a style against somebody else's style, yeah. right? And yep. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Very but I so. want to make sure we cycle through all of these before we hit the winner button, because we did have a winner this month. Um, and that winner was Timbit. Yep. Yeah. Timbit won with his... Slon, this crazy slon that he's been, I mean, yeah, chipping away at. Yeah, Timbit entered this in Golden Demon, right? Golden and, Demon, man. Um, so it, you know, uh, the nice thing is that he at least won here, and he got what? Well, I mean, he got a finalist. He got a pin. finalist That's pretty pin cool. there, right? I, it's I know but, it is but hard. Really, really, come it's on. hard to say what is better. <laughs> what is better? winning the monthly challenge at the Hobby Club <laughs> or a Golden Demon finalist pin? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. No idea. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Um, but we really liked how <laughs> this was the beginning of Timbit's journey into becoming a Golden Demon winner. Mm -hmm. You know, we starting do. out at finalist. That's pretty amazing. Yep. Um, <laughs> and uh, one uh, one more fun thing about Timbit, um, now that Tim we can announce that Timbit's the winner, um, Timbit uh, is going to do some workshops with our mandrels. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been doing some with Devin so far, and you guys have had a positive response to that, so we want to keep it going. Um, and we reached out to Timbit and wanted to know if Timbit would be so gracious as to offer... Um, his talents to our mandrels. Yep. So if you guys are a mandrel, 
keep your eye on our events in our Discord, and um, we will have some dates up for you when you can work with Timbit. Yeah. Um, next week, you'll hear more about the dates that we have set with Devin, because Devin's going to cover fabric and basing. He'll be workshops. here. He'll be, He'll be right here. where I am next week. Yeah, and we can talk about it. Yep. And then... Um, <laughs> and then uh, Timbit will get on our roster soon after. Yep. So that'll be really fun for our mandrels. Yes. If you're not a mandrel, now's a good time to become a mandrel. It is. And um, we are planning on having more people as well show up um, to do classes. And we hope that yep. we get to a situation we would love to where. Grow that. We hope we're, yeah, we hope we get to a situation where you guys are having to be like, oh my gosh, I can only go to so many or whatever and have to, having to make calls. Yeah. Um, kind of, Kind of a. Um, uh, a goal is to have a lot of different people, a lot of different styles, um, doing classes. And, um, mm -hmm. like, just like Tim Bet, we kind of found him through our community. Um, I think that there are probably other people in our community totally. who are, um, who might be, uh, uh, good for this as well. And of course we're, we're always also browsing Instagram and finding people there. So, um, yeah, more, yeah. more to come. Making more connections at events and such. Yeah, more. Um, but yeah, this is like a, a, a feature that we want to sh bring to our community, um, for our top supporters. Um, cause that means a lot to us and you guys mean a lot to us. Yep. 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 Um, other thing I wanted to announce. So if you're not a mandrel and this is not a perk you, you know, can enjoy, um, I am going to change, I'm going to swat, switch up discord a little bit. Um, right now, if you are like very chatty in our discord, either by texting or by talking in a, in a chat room in one of our, um, virtual hangouts, yep. uh, you get a label, you get like an emoji label. It's top talker or top texter. Mm -hmm. and, the, and those top three people are also invited to the mandrel workshops. Um, and that's because, like, we, we totally get it. Like, not everybody can, you know, afford to do that. Not, not everybody can afford to have a subscription. Yes. Um, I understand this. Um, and so there's, that shouldn't matter. Like, there's still other ways that you guys give a lot to our community. And that's why being active and being supportive and hanging out and making it fun. Yeah. And so um, we're going to make sure that those uh, top three spots, top texter and talker, will not, if you're a mandrel, you'll get filtered out. So that way we're not losing any of those spots to mandrels. So we'll always be three non-mandrels who get that invite to these workshops. Yep. I hope that makes sense. Basically, it just means that six of you who are active in our Discord will get that invite as well um, on the day of. And it's it's re it's updated every three hours. So if you haven't been chatty the week before, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about the three hours before the class, you oh know? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get, like, a swarm of, like, memes and just, like, one-word sen one sentences. <laughs> I know Polly will rig the system. But guess what, Polly? You're already a mandrel, Android, so... Yeah. Joke's on you. <laughs> oh, how Polly we are. Polly's like, well, guess what? Now I'm not a meandrel anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Don't encourage him. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys mean a lot to us. We're, we're trying to think of ways to make the community better for you. Um, more engaging. You guys give us a lot of energy that we feed off of. And anything we can do to make this more fun, engaging, and um, collaborative, we want to take. And that's Absolutely. it. That, that's my that's my soapbox. That's or good. Whatever it was, whatever yeah. we want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Palomino, getting there. I am like taking my time on. Yeah, that's okay. The stuff here. Mm. All right now, I'm gonna do another. Okay, so I took this chestnut so originally it was um mornfang brown and i was thinking like it's too yellow right so i added a wash of <laughs> hard to read with the uh, paint all over it mm -hmm. Car caraber crimson well, i guess so well, i guess i don't like that <laughs> yeah what's wrong with us mm, actually okay i've got some on my palette so i'm gonna dry brush the mornfang brown again also, not the best dry brush paint. 
That's okay. Is it, it's is good it enough. Okay? It's good okay. enough. It's fine. Again, like a lot of a lot of this stuff is going to be semi covered, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, I am um, oh, just doing different things with the hair hair like the cloth. Um, this one we have the yellow and white one. This one is white, orange, and maroon. Um, I'm trying to do, um, so when I went through and did the colors, um, I kept a lot of white, orange, yellow, and red, which are the kind of the main, um, <clears throat> like splash colors of my Cities of Sigma army. So I did want the cavalry to sort of line up a little bit, you know, um, with that rather than be totally any random color imaginable, mm -hmm. but I did do a blue one and I did do a couple, yeah, I did a blue one. Oh, we have a black horse with some gray cloth. That one's going to look pretty oh, cool. Oh, yeah. That'll look really cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, like we a have bla steel. Black and gray. Colored gray. We've got, um, yeah, the, a white horse with blue cloth, a white horse with orange, um, a gray with yellow. All right. This is a towel light ochre. If I don't like it, I'll cover it. I'm not sure if I'll <clears> like it or not. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, that's it. No, I, I just wanted to, um, to mention that I have, yeah, kind of a bunch of different colors going on. But I kept it kind of in the warm area. Um, like I said, there is one blue one, um, <clears throat> and like kind of one cool gray one, but for the most part, I, it's, it's centered around, I'm going to say it kind of goes from like maroon to white I think I'll wash this through down again. by uh -huh. way of red, orange, and yellow. It's kind of like, oh, and there's a green one too. And that's the one you're painting right now. Yes. There is a green, there is one with a green, uh, yeah. uh cloth. The green against chestnuts is really, really nice. cool. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. It's like Rohan the... Very Rohani. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, um, kind of Gaelic. Mm -hmm. So, um, I kind of, I don't know, I was okay with uh, having a few like uh, a few of them off the beaten path of the color palette for the army. Um, and I'll probably... I'll yeah, probably, they're going to really pop on the battlefield. I'll, I'll probably be working the red in um, that I use for the army in a, in a lot of the models also. So you'll probably still see that. And I'm really excited to get decals going as well on these. There we go. That's good. Oh, my God. I'm That's just... good enough. Okay. Uh, one more wash of the red. And then uh, I just have to do some cleanup on the Palomino. And then I'm done with the bottoms. Of the of these four? Or of five. these four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, not going to worry about... <laughs> Well, you have the other five. Maybe you can help me. I don't know. If I will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Later. I'm yeah. I'm not going to get it done on stream. No, I know. I know. That certainly won't happen. No. Um, Cody said something to me in Hobby Chat that I thought was really funny. And that was, um, like, he was surprised at how long I was taking to paint the salon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, are you joking? I thought he was messing with me. Because I feel like I notoriously take a long time to do stuff. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's all in my head. What do you think, Zach? I think the comparison is to me and Saray, who paint uh, very fast, bonkers fast. You yeah. guys do. Oh my gosh! One day. Well, I don't know. I mean, the quality quality dips as a result. Um, at least, Ooh, at least Saray. for me. Did you hear at, what he at just least said? for me. At least for me. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I, I think Saray is probably in the middle of you and I, um, and can go really high quality if he takes a, if he slows down. Um, Saray's fantastic. He's yeah. Fa yeah, he's fantastic. Um, I think he probably has a really good speed to quality ratio. Um, my mine, I, I'm probably faster, but be probably not quite as high quality. Um, and quality. you know, what's that? Quality. Quality, yeah, and that's okay. I'm happy with my my quality for armies and stuff. And like I've been saying, I yeah, I would now that we have kind of enough for the channel. Um, I would like to take my time on something like the next army I do. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I sorry. Think, what is the next army you're planning on? I don't know. You don't know yet. I don't know. Okay, maybe, great. Maybe Sylvan F. Maybe Deacon. So I'm claiming you for a while. You're gonna help me. Yeah, with I'm, my I'm not starting another Seraphon. army for a while. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I like how this chestnut one came out. That oh yeah. Good. That looks. I'm excited to paint that one. These are so fun to paint. Um, like I'm just now doing another. There you go. Color. This Palomino is Palomino. <clears throat> Never gets old. Never. No one ever gets tired of our jokes. <clears throat> it's not really our joke. It's Box Burgers. It's Tina, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really enjoying, though, going through on this army and um, 
doing, yeah, I don't know, just like different colors and mm-hmm. things. It's kind of fun. Oh, it's fun doing the horses. Yes, yeah. very fun. Um, okay, I'm going to try something. Do you have a um, Corvus Black? Oh, a bat in black. Let's try it. Yeah, it's funny when I look at this picture, like the bright areas of the Palomino don't really, they don't turn white. Like you don't work up to white. It's just like very rich gold coloration. Um, so I need to find like a brighter, but not cartoonish yellow basically to work this up to. But the other thing I could do probably is get a cartoonish yellow and then just tone it down with the wash. Maybe I'll do that. This knee is driving me nuts. Sorry, I'm doing like a... Why are you sorry? A concentrating thing here. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> None of these horses that I talked about today. Oh, no, that's not true. Shammy. Shammy was a boy. Shammy was a gelding. Never mind. Um, you know, they fix male horses. It's, that's a gelding. They don't fix female horses. It's too dangerous. So horses still get, like, their period. Like, okay. you know, they get into heat. Okay. Go into heat regularly. It's always kind of funny. They always act different. Um, and they're a little more ornery. <laughs> Interesting. Like with each other. It's so weird. I'm like, aren't you trying to get laid? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> Yeah, so actually, um, the Fault Line guys oh, are hi. having their terrain day, oh. right? Yes, we're going to go check that out. Yeah. Um, we need to record some of it. We want to record some of it to show you guys. Um, it's so cool what they're doing. Um, I love I love that they like get together and make terrain together. It's very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you guys have like hobby days with your friends? Do you ever do that? It's like... You wouldn't think to, right? Because all your stuff is like with you. And who wants like? To yeah, it stuff, can be, right? it can be a pain um, in the butt, right? Yeah. And you get used to your setup and your lighting and mm-hmm. everything, and then suddenly it's you're like dark. having to go somewhere else and do it. I think what I'm gonna do. Hmm. This is really just like the right color. So it's almost like I need to just wash it and then add this color back. Let me do that really fast. We've got time because we started late, so mm-hmm. we'll end a little late. Okay. Um, so I'll just mix this with some brown and turn it into a wash. Um, can I pass this horse over to you? Yeah. I, again, I'm just kind of blocking out what I want to do with the colors. Just so be careful because the... Oh, yeah. I didn't want it to fall on the paint. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this horse is the maroon, orange, and white thing kind of going on. So I'm just kind of blocking out, like, colors for now, mm-hmm. but that's kind of what's going on here. That's fun. Yeah. I love all the it, crazy colors. It's fun to do the different colors, yeah. yeah. So I really am only going to, I think I'm going to stop and pretty much focus on these two. For, sure. For, like, I don't know how much hobby I'm going to do today, but um, in, in the coming days. Yeah, are we the, taking a break today? The goal is going to be to finish these two. Um, and then move on to other horses. The yeah, other ones, just, yeah. Yeah, I probably do work on like two at a time. Um, because I, I do want them to look good. I need to do all their shields. Oh man, I, they all have shields too. They do. And I can't just do all the shields you red. I'm really excited or, well, about it. Well, when I did all the shields for the um, the Free Guild Cavaliers and the, excuse me, the Free Guild Steel Helms and the Free Guild Fusiliers, I just did them all red. I just did a huge batch. It took me like four or five hours to do 40 mm. shields. 
But with these guys, I'm going to actually have to paint them again. Once again, I'm going to have to paint them kind of to look different colors, right? Yeah. And the shield is a big part of, like, the color palette, right? Like, for this guy, I'll probably do orange, an orange shield, since mm -hmm. he's got, like, these little orange cloths. Um, then I've got to line up decals and everything, so lots to do, but it's yeah. okay, going to be fun. So I took this towel light ochre and mixed in a little bit of cuirass leather, and I'm turning it into a wash. So I'm just going to wash this whole thing so that I have the low lights kind of established, and then I'll come back in and dry brush. Probably you, not probably not on screen. Do you have the top half of that horse? Uh, no, I don't. Do I need it right now? Uh, if you're putting a wash on the bottom half, you might want to put it up there. Well, right? I haven't done... Oh, okay. I haven't done anything. I I, I <sighs> realized pretty early, like, oh, I'm not going to get to the top half today. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to stress over it. All right. Um, we always have the stream to come back and see how you did it, I guess. So, again, <laughs> <laughs> I I don't have that issue. Like, I, it's fine. Like, um, all the stuff I can figure out, and I'll actually just finish it today. I'll do the top halves today, so I don't have to worry about it. So I'll be fine. Okay. I, I don't, I'm used to not writing this stuff down. Well, it's written down on the stream, so that's... Yeah, fine. it's digitally written down. Um, all right, we are wrapping up shortly. I don't think I'm going to be able to dry brush this because it's going to take a minute for mm -hmm. this to dry, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, this is cool, though, because um, I've been wanting to do something where it's like, oh, I want to pay tribute to, like, horses in my life. I'm sure we all do that, right? Like... Not oh, that exactly, but yes, stuff like that. No, but, like, yeah, pick... You, like, tribute your <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. models to something important to you. Right, right. Um, not that these are my models. They're yours, but there you go. You got some... No, it's, you have some horse portraits. That's great. <laughs> that's great. I wanted all the horses to be different colors and everything, and so yeah. this is... Okay. This is looking, I'm very excited for this unit to be finished and be on the tabletop. It's going to look super cool. Yeah, I think so. It's fine. It's fun to get to do all the different colors. Cool. I will dry brush that back to the ochre after it dries. But okay. for now, I'm calling it okay. on my bottom halves. Cool. What about you? Yeah, I'm in a good spot to stop. Oh, as um, as we can go get lunch. Yeah, and I have... Um, we're kind of done these two, but really have just kind of defined colors on them. Yeah. And I'm going to work on these two and finish these two and then move on to two more. And it'll probably take a couple weeks, but um, soon we'll have a whole unit of free guild cavaliers. Two whole units. Two units of five. And the dude. I got I to do the dude. Yeah. He might actually go easier. He actually is, he is supposed to be. He is supposed to match the army. He does. Oh, so you kind of know. He is attached. He's to, a muscle memory kind of model. He's a more you. attached to. The, he's more attached to the army. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the lore than these guys are. So, um, but he he leads them then. So okay, cool. Hey, yeah, we did it. We did it. Um, yeah. Tomorrow for members we have a stream. Uh, Saray and John will be playing. It should be a fun one. Um, and then we'll see you guys Wednesday at our normal time. Yeah, yeah. and that's gonna be crew. Yeah, Brett and I are going to be do, working on some crew models. Mm -hmm. Very excited for that. Um, haven't touched 40K models in a while, so it should be yeah. fun. Yeah, he's going to be like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, okay, awesome. Uh, friends, as we like to say, be kind oh. to each other. Be kind to each other. Oh, mandrills. Oh, yeah, we always really want to thank our mandrills. But, yeah. Sorry, I jumped right in. That's okay, that. I always forget. Yeah, uh, thanks, to, mandrills. Um, we shouldn't forget. Yeah, here, here you are. Here's the mandrills. This is you. This is you. Thank you. You've done a lot. Yeah, You've done a lot thanks. for us. Thanks. And um, we're looking forward to having more workshops for you in yep. our Discord. So yep. if you're a mandrill, you better be in our Discord. Otherwise, you're missing out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. This we time, did it. We did uh, good it. to see some of you guys. Good to see Rudy. Good to see yeah. you from, from the Middle East. Good to hear from you. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah. Thanks, as always. As we can say, be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. And always be creating stuff. Bye. Bye.